Hello everyone, it is time, it is that time again. We are going to be starting a new Dragon Quest playthrough. And it is, uh, it is number six, the final game in the Zenithian trilogy. I've played four and five uh, very recently for the first time, and this is going to be, again, a first time playthrough. We're going to be playing the DS version, and can I just say, really, really like the title screen on this. Seeing the, the landscape below and the blue skies above, ooh, oh, I'm, I get so excited for every Dragon Quest that I play, especially considering this one is going to be completely new to me. I know nothing about this game. So without further ado, let's jump in. If the, uh, if my controller would work, that'd be great. There we go. Right, create a new adventure log. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm so, so hype. I always am though. I say this every time I start a Dragon Quest game. It's like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm sure you guys are sick of me saying that right now, but, um, or by now, I should say, but we're doing it! Ooh, we're gonna be called Mage, of course. That's my name. And, uh, yeah, very, very interested to see how this game goes, because not many people talk about Six. Uh, I, whether or not it's one of the lesser entries in the series to a lot of people, don't really know. But I'm gonna... I'm going to go in with a very open mind. It's a Dragon Quest, so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it to some degree. I hope you are as well. And it uh, looks like we're just chilling by the campfire. Trouble sleeping? Uh, yeah, apparently. It's only natural. The time is almost at hand, after all. I have no idea who any of these people are. Obviously, the, the, the blue-haired dude is the main character. Very, uh... Very Super Saiyan-esque, of course, but uh, we, we kind of expect that. It is Dragon Quest, after all, and uh, freaking Toriyama likes his, uh, likes his big hair. Now, where did he get to? He went to check the path ahead, but that was some time ago. Oh, hello. Ahoy, are you two uh, done sawing logs? I was out re uh, re reckoning, uh, re reckoneer, reckoneering, uh, scouting. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. This is definitely the place. I have no idea what this guy's voice is going to be like, but I guess we'll go with that for now. You get enough rest? It's high time we sh we sh shove off. I I get pirate kind of uh, vibes from him, just from his language. I don't know. What the hell is? What the hell are they wearing? Got wings or something? Or is that just a really fancy coat? He's right, we have nothing to gain from dallying here. It's been a long journey, but our goal is finally in sight. We have no choice but to press on. Let's do this, mage. The Dread Fiend ain't gonna defeat himself. The Dread Fiend. Oh. Also, I love how we were using our sword as a pillow. The fate of the world rests on this battle. If we can emerge victorious, peace will be restored. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Come, mage, we must go. Oh. Yeah, they, they, those like bows, like massive bows. Alright. So, are we joining... Are we joining the game, like, a good ways through here? Through the journey? Uh, let me check the... Oh, there's no one in the party to talk to at the moment, and I can't even open up a menu or anything, so... Ooh. We must be quite high up here. There seems to be a thunderstorm brewing below us. Murdor's hold up inside his keep, just beyond his cliff. Aye, there ain't no turning back now. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna make him full-on pirate. Why not? Amazing purpley-pink mohawk. Super buff. And yeah, are those... That is the weirdest outfit I think I've ever seen, and I've played a lot of JRPGs, chaps. The final leg of our journey awaits us. The legends are true. All that remains is to play this ocarina? Wait, am I playing the wrong game here? Wait, what? Here goes nothing. That's not how you play an ocarina. Oh, 
That was lovely. Beautiful. What's it gonna do? Oh my gosh. It's summoned to Durgan. Is this the, the, the dread fiend? Oh. Oh no, it's our, it's, it's our friend. It's our trusty steed. Oh, this is incredibly heroic. Now, obviously, the, the bottom screen, or the, the smaller screen, is technically the top screen. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Super evil castle. Big bad guy inside. Yep, we're playing a dragon quest, alright. Huh. This is really... This is quite a strange opening. Especially compared to 4 and 5. Seems we've no other choice but to keep moving forward. Lead the way, mage. You're getting a whiff of this, foul air? Aye, this is Murdor's castle, alright? Murdor. It's a great name. It's a great... I mean, I have high expectations for the, uh, the wordplay. This is a dragon quest, after all. Um... I guess we will lead the way. I... Can we go through this door? The door's firmly locked. Okay. Guessing all of them are going to be. Creepy. <laughs> I mean, are we gonna... Is this gonna be a case of we get to the big bad guy, we get our asses handed to us, and then we start fresh? Or is it gonna cut back to the beginning of the game, and we play through it, and then build up back to this point? I don't know. The music's amazing, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, on the top screen is, is giving us a nice little preview of what we're about to walk into. There's a massive door. Mage, wait! Murdor waits us beyond this door. I can feel it. It's do or die time, mage. It's been a real cakewalk so far, though, don't you think? I, I don't know. I've only just joined you chaps. But sure, yes. Yeah, I mean, why build a creepy keep like this if you're gonna let us waltz right in without a fight? It does seem... it does seem a little bit too... quiet, doesn't it? Uh, uh, sensing a trap. Oh, is it... was that the pirate dude? I don't... I don't know their names! I have no idea who these people are. After you, mage. Okay. In we go. <laughs> Shit, someone left a smoke machine on. What's going on? What's with the mist? I can't see a- Whoa! Ah! What is going on? Oh. Oh! Blah! <laughs> Did you really think it would be this easy? Fools, prepare to spend the rest of eternity as lifeless lumps of stone. I guess that's his voice. I... If you've watched any of my playthroughs, chaps, you'll know that my voices change all the time. They are never consistent, and they are never good. But I try my best, and did we just get absolutely fucking obliterated? What? <laughs> I mean, I kind of saw that coming. Ah! M Mage, wh what happened? Oh, was it a dream? It was all a dream. Tanya, what a fine brother you are, Mage, scaring me like that. Falling out of bed is no way to start your day. You sure you're okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine, but why the hell are we sleeping with a sword on our back? That seems awfully uncomfortable. Oh, by the way, Mayor Spindle stopped by earlier to see you. I told him you were sleeping, so he said he'd come back later. Mayor Spindle. Alright, well, looks like that was just a dream. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the plot going forward whatsoever. And since this is a Dragon Quest, we got to loot the place, even though it's probably my house. A leather hat. Jolly good. Nothing special. And yes, we're going to be smashing all sorts of pots and barrels. Ten gold coins. And our first seed of agility. Very nice. Okay. Now, looks like we do have access to our menus now. Very good. Let's uh, check our attributes. We are Mage the Village Lad. We are level tw uh, level 1. 28 HP, no MP. Uh, pretty good strength. Not much, uh, not much resilience. Okay. Uh, do we have any field magic? I don't think we have anything. Nope, we've, we haven't learned anything at all. No worries. I'm sure we will. What kind of business would may uh, the mayor have with you this early in the morning? I have no idea. Oh, the sun's up. And the birds are chirping and twittering. Probably trying to stay away from this cat. Meow. Right. I'm guessing this is our home village. And we've got an old dude. Sorry, kid. Shop ain't open yet. Come back in a jiff. Alrighty. Go cool. Yep, you know I had to do it. You know I had to do it. Well, good morning to you, mage. The mayor was poking around for you earlier. What? Which way to the mayor's house? Looks like someone didn't get their 12 hours of sleep last night. 12 hours is a lot of hours. Although, I don't see any problem with sleeping for 12 hours. I'd love to do that. And I do frequently. Uh, it's up It's up on the hill behind the church. You know that, you know that sleepyhead. Okay. Well, 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 we have our first well. Can I, uh, check it out? Of course we can. <gasps> there's a, there's a hermit slime. Scuttle, scuttle. Oh, for goose, goose, goodness sake. I'm a bad, bad sea slime. I was hoping for a chance with, uh, for a chance encounter with my pal Curie. Hey, we know Curie. But we keep missing each other. I need to stop spending so much time gooped up in my shell. Oh, so there's no items down here, but that was cool. And yes, you bet your ass I'm going to be checking every single well I come across. That sister of yours sure is growing up fast. Tanya's every bit as charming as your mother. Goddess rest her soul. She'll make a fine lady someday. Oh, what a surprise. Huh. Looks, looks like our uh, one of our parents is dead. That's not often the case in a JRPG. How weird. My mama used to tell me tales about some bogeyman named Murdaugh who's out to conquer the world. It's all hogwash, I say. Spirit of the mountain will protect us forever, you betcha. Oh, I'm sure nothing bad will happen ever. Yeah. We owe a lot to our mountain spirit, mate. Don't you go taking her for granted. Alright, so we live near a mountain. And Murdaugh is a bad dude. But we feel safe here and we'll be fine. Nothing, nothing, nothing bad's gonna happen. Medicinal herb. Nothing. Should I use that uh, seed of agility? Uh, what do you mean my bag's currently empty? You talk. Oh, it's in my inventory, that's why. Um, well, first of all, yeah, we better equip that leather hat. There we go. And I think I'll. Yeah, I'll use the seed of agility on myself. I usually like to save those, and if you've watched any of my Dragon Quest playthroughs, you'll know that I am incredibly stingy with seeds. I very rarely uh, use them this early in the game, but just uh, just because it's our first one, I don't mind. And our agility increased by two. Jolly good. We got some plain clothes and the classic cypress stick, which is absolutely dog shit. But that's all we have right now. Even though the thing on our back absolutely looks like a sword, apparently we don't have one. That's fine. Uh, I can move the camera, so I must remember to do that, because in a lot of these DS 
Dragon Quest games, I have made a nasty habit of missing doors or staircases. <laughs> uh, j just getting lost and not knowing where to go, so must remember I can move the camera. Uh, a bit more gold, jolly good. What are you doing, little kid? Ah! You was... Oh, he was graffitiing! What a little shit. Mage examines the graffiti on the wall. Buddy's a wimp. Ooh, is that Buddy's house? Who's Buddy? Well, this, that's the pub. We'll definitely be checking that out in a minute. Morning, mage. You know the mayor came calling at your door earlier. I bet you wanted to discuss something about this year's Fortune Festival. Fortune Festival. Interesting. Ooh, weapon shop. I love the town music. That's really nice. That's so shiny. A splendid suit of armor is on display. It doesn't look like something mage could afford. No, definitely not. I've got like 20, 20 gold to my name, dude. Uh, hey, mage. The mayor's been looking all over for you. Why don't you go see what he wants before you dilly dally in here? Yeah, but I want in a weapon. I've only got a cypress stick. I don't, I don't feel safe. I'd rather use a farming implement. Okay. I'll come back later. When I've got a bit more money. Um, I'm guessing this is... That's going to be the church, isn't it? It is. The spirit crown is fabled to be the vessel from which our mountain spirit power flows. On the, right of the, uh, on the night of the Fortune Festival, we set it upon our goddess statue in the hopes of a peaceful, bountiful year to come. Oh, so I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm sure that nothing's going to go wrong with this Fortune Festival. Definitely not going to be like a bad omen happening at all. All living creatures are... Children of the Goddess, what brings you to our church, child? Uh, give me a divination. The great and benevolent Goddess offers her wisdom. You require 16 experience points. Uh, no, that will do, thanks. Yeah, don't they tell you how much you need anyway? In the old attribute screen? Oh, maybe they don't. Maybe I do need to check the divination. Uh, but yeah, we've got our... This is pretty much very similar to 4 and 5. Um, I never really use the tactics. I don't really bother. I, I usually just fight manually. Unless I'm doing some grinding, I suppose. But, um, yeah, there's not much to do here right now. So, we either go to the mayor's house, or... You know what, actually, I'm going to check out the, uh, the pub. Oh, three gold coins! Gosh, we're just we're rolling in it. We are so rich right now. Bah! Stupid spindle! Think it, thinks I'm too over the hill for a trip down the mountain, does he? <coughs> well, he's dead wrong. <laughs> I don't know about that. The old coach's really got his dander up. Can't say I blame him neither. Poor guy used to be in charge of holding the village goods down to the market in ha Haggleton. <laughs> Is that going to be a place full of merchants? Love it. But no, no more. Oh. Well, I'm afraid age. I, only, only the lucky grow old. Barkeep! Hey there, mage. I heard Tanya's gonna be the divine messenger for this year's f fortune festival. Oh. Oh, nothing bad's gonna happen to Tanya then. Ain't that something? Of course, my buddy just about went berserk when he heard. Oh, is he the owner of this pub? He already worships the ground she walks on. So it's quite fitting, don't you think? Okay. What do you mean, your buddy? Is it your son? Or... I don't know. But apparently he's, he's, he's got the hots for my sister, which makes him my mortal enemy. And I will never let him near her. Not on my watch. Unless this is buddy. Uh, or maybe his buddy's dad. Okay. Well, hello there, mate. Looking for my no-good son? But he's probably by the cliff to the south again, watching the wind blow or whatever it is he does. <laughs> what do you what do you do for fun around? What do you in, in the world of Dragon Quest, other than killing monsters and praying? 
what the fuck are you gonna do for fun? You're gonna just, you're gonna stand on a cliff and, and feel the breeze on your face. I don't know. God has forbid, forbid he'd try ever to put a day of good, honest work for a change. Uh, yeah. I suppose you could work too. Uh, you don't mind if I steal from you, do you, sir? Oh, you didn't have anything anyway. Phew. <laughs> Pathetic. Waste of my time. Well, anyway, this was the pub. And we've learned about Buddy. Who is going to be to the south. A lot of old dudes. These hands just don't move like they used to. Take my advice. Don't get old, kid. So you want me to die then? Thanks. That's really... That's... That's great. We may be up in the boonies, but I'd put our goods up against anything the big cities have to offer. The women folk we fabric while we men carve the most intricate wood pieces you'll ever see. Of course the men... M make the wood. Get the wood. Whatever. Much of it gets sold at the bazaar down south of here. They can barely keep it on the shelves. Alright, so what I'm gathering is that this place, whatever it's called, is prospering pretty well. Oh, for God's sake, it jammed on me again. I'm just not cut out for this. I'm a clothes wearer, not a clothes weaver. <laughs> Same. Uh, move those fingers, quit slouching. You want that stuff to sell, don't you? Weave, weave, weave. Oh. I'm trying to, trying to think of a, a, a weaving joke. <laughs> you just weave that to me. Uh, that's as good as I can do. It's it's like nearly 3 a.m. Uh, right. Have we explored everywhere apart from this house? Oh no, that's the weapon shop. It was the mayor's house. Ah, probably this place. Mayor Spindle's residence. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, let me smash his uh, garden pots. Get another herb. Well, hey there, mage. Looking for the mayor? You'll find him inside, you betcha. Cool. Is there anything over... Oh, hello. Where did we come from? Where do we go next? Of late, I'm not even... I do not even know how long I've been here. So say Somnus, young king of Somnia. Oh, is, are they going to be like... Are they, are they going to be like a, a place where people just can't sleep? Is that what it's going to be? Ain't that a heck of a thing? Also, Final, Final Fantasy XV, anyone? I'm really fighting the urge to sneeze here. Really badly. It's gonna happen. I don't know why I fight it. I should just let it happen, but nope. I don't want to sneeze. You can't make me nose. Uh, it looks like we may have explored everywhere. Oh, hello. Am I going here? What's this house? Ah, oh, ever been to the market down the mountain? They got one heck of a bazaar going on right now. I have heard, yeah. Such a big to-do. The king of Somnia himself pays it a visit every year. I'd be there myself if I could. You betcha. You betcha. Don't you know? A moo cow. Moo. I always think those those seeds of resilience look like turds. I'm actually surprised that that wasn't a cow pat <laughs> in that barrel, honestly. But hey, seed resilience. I'm actually going to use that as well. Because our resilience is absolutely terrible. It was like three or something. Ooh, and it increased by three. We've just doubled our resilience. Hell yes. Although we did equip uh, the hat as well, so it's probably not quite as bad. Oh no, it's six. Okay, our defense is 12 now though. Good, good, good. All right, uh, you little shit. Were you the graffiti artist? Oh, this is called Weaver's Peak. Oh, well, that would make sense. Okay. Did you do the graffiti? The graffiti. I mean, again though, if Buddy's a dick, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna suspect that he is. Oh shit. I can leave the town without checking on the mayor. Also, the layout of the world map is very interesting. It's almost like one big continent. Almost. Huh. And this is the world map music. Okay. Definitely feel- it's got a different feel to it than, than 4 and 5 did. 
Um, should we get into a fight? Should we get into a fight? Can we get into a fight? Maybe there's no monsters up on this mountain? I bet it won't let us leave. <laughs> ah, this guy's going to be blocking us. Oh, this is Buddy! Uh, I have no idea what voice to give him. I have I've not a clue. I'm just going to make him super annoying. Hey, mage, what's up? Oh, hey, what's up, mage? Out for some air today, buddy? Oh, is that why he's called Buddy? He calls everyone Buddy? I do that. You know, I think Mayor Spindle was hunting for you earlier. You should go see what he wants. You don't want to keep him waiting. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll see the mayor. He just might give me something to do. He might give me work, and I'm lazy. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sleep in my bed with my sword on my back, digging into my ribs. What a jolly town this is, though. I'm sure it's going to stay this way for the whole game. <laughs> Who is that? Hello. Oh, antidotal herb. Very good. And nothing special. Mage looks at the bookshelves. There's a book entitled The Quotable Slime, Volume 1. Okay. It includes such such gems as there's no slime like the present. A favorite saying of Sir Sliman Gooington Smythe. Oh my god. Please tell me we meet this person. It's I mean it's slime, but still, oh my lord. That's amazing. Um, I want to talk to you. Judith. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here, mage. Almost time for the Fortune Festival, eh? That means Buddy will have his present ready for me soon. He promised he'd give me a fancy carved pendant for the big day. Hee <laughs> hee. Sure hope he remembers. Okay. So does he have the hots for my sister then? Or is is he playing the field? Or is he, or is he just being nice? I don't know. I don't trust him. Ah. There you are, my boy. I've got a little job for you today, mate. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew he'd give us something to do. Surely you're aware of how much our village uh, goods fetch down at Haggleton? Yep. The proceeds from these goods pay for the spirit crown we use for the Fortune Festival each year. This year, mate, I'd like to ask you to procure the crown for our village. Oh, that's kind of a cool er errand, though. Why do you need a new crown every year, though? Why can't you just use the same one? Where do the crowns go? The path down the mountain can be tricky at times, but I'm sure you're more than up to the task. You've got a cypress stick after all, and you're level one. Ten sheets of silk and one wooden knick-knack should fetch more than enough for the crown. Do you think you can handle this mage? I'm going to say no. But, but mage, this is for the sake of the entire village. Surely you can take care of this for us. Yeah, fine. Wonderful. I'll put everything in your bag. Make sure you don't lose it now. Oh... Responsibility. Do 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 do. Love that jingle. Once you get down the cliffs, just follow the path south until you reach the town of Haggleton. Best of luck, mage. Okay then. I guess that's what we're doing. It's kind of a fetch quest, and that's fine. It's the beginning of the game. That's a okay with me. Ooh, I wonder if I can actually go to the weapon shop now that I've uh, seen the mayor. Welcome to the weapon shop. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, so we can use a spear. A copper sword. And we get, oh, weapons and armor here. Okay. I mean, I would like all this stuff. I could get a bamboo spear, but I think I'm going to save up for the copper sword, even though it's super expensive. Uh, I could buy wayfarer's clothes as well, but I think I'm going to save up for the leather armor. Yeah. Ooh, do I buy the shield? The thing is, I'm always quite hesitant to buy stuff in, in RPGs, especially early on, because I think, well, what if I find it for free? Because I'm a massive, massive cheapskate. Uh, so, and stingy as hell. So I am going to see if we can find stuff on our own and save a bit of money. <laughs> Alrighty. Now Buddy should let us uh, pass. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, this music. Um, 
I do recognize this. It may be a slightly different very uh like variation. I'm just trying to think what game I remember it from, which Dragon Quest it is. What the hell are those? Scare Roots. That's definitely not an enemy I've ever seen in a Dragon Quest before. And all we can do is attack. Oh my god. I'm too busy boogieing. Oh, no. oh good, I didn't get into the groove this time. Uh, well, one thing I'm going to have to get used to again is playing these older Dragon Quests is uh, not being able to target specific enemies in a group. 8 experience. Ah! Oh, one more fight like that and we get to level 2, baby. <gasps> they dropped a chest! Medicinal herb. Okay. Well, we're going to need those because that's our only form of healing right now. What are you doing, buddy? Hmm? Oh, oh, mage! Hey, buddy! Yeah, this feels like a slower version of a of a theme that I've heard before. Can't remember which game though. I was just resting my eyes a bit. It's nice here, you know. The monsters are real pushovers. Oh, uh, mind not telling Dad you saw me here? He's always on my back about getting my work done. Speaking of which, you're on your way down to the Hackleton, aren't you? Once you sell that stuff and get the crown, I guess we'll be ready to kick off the Fortune Festival, huh? And that means I'll get to see Tanya play the Divine Messenger, right? It's the role she was born for. You stay away from my sister. I will hurt you. I will throw you from this cliff. Tell her I'll be keeping an eye out for the festival, all right, buddy? No. No, no, no. You stay away. You stay away. Oh my god. Also, this battle music is crazy. But what are those? What are those? Mottle slimes. I've never seen those before either. And of course, being slimes, they're super easy to kill. But that's alright. Oh, only four experience. Oh, guys, I just don't know where to go. I'm just, uh... I'm at a loss. I'm just completely stumped. Whee! Stumped. Oh, shit! I just fell off a cliff. And I absolutely... Probably should have sustained some injury, but I guess not. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, <gasps> Treasure! Oh, please, please give me, like, a weapon or something. Ah. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, they don't notice my presence. Gastropods. Uh, I think I should probably take out the scare roots first. Because they can... Yeah, they can make me dance. But, uh, yeah, I haven't really gone into it, but this is, again, like I said, my first time playing this game, so please... Please get, keep uh, backseating to a minimum if you can, chaps, especially no spoilers at all. I want to go through this game, you know, as uh, as if I was just playing it by myself. Experiencing all of it for the first time, figuring stuff out on my own. Um, and if I do want any sort of tips or... Holy shit, I need to probably heal myself here. Uh, I will ask, basically. So, but yeah. I'm actually going to be recording this quite a bit in advance, probably. Not sure when you're going to see this video, but uh, I really hope you're going to enjoy this. The support you guys give me for these Dragon Quest playthroughs is always insane. Uh, and, it, it, yeah, I mean, I'm just so happy to be playing a Dragon Quest again. I had a little bit of a break since I uh, recently replayed 8, which is my favorite in the series. But uh, playing a new one that I have never played before is incredibly exciting. And that is a lot of XP. And there we go. We got our first level. Level 2. HP by 3. MP by 2. Okay, so we've got some MP now. And uh, a little bit of strength. Not much else. Okay, what's in chest number 2? Oh, it is a weapon. An oaken club. Can I equip that? Can I equip that? 
I did. I think it was. It must be better than the cypress stick. I'm going to put the cypress stick. Oh yeah, we got a 22 attack now. Very good. I'm going to put that in the bag. Probably going to sell that. Although they never sell for much. We're falling down all the hole. Oh my god, we went straight through. Oh my god! Did we just take like the biggest shortcut ever? <laughs> I think we did. Uh. Oh, buddy, buddy's just up there. There's a rope bridge. I know I'm supposed to be heading down, but I do want to see if I've missed anything. Thank God we didn't dance again. And as usual, if I start running into the same enemies over and over, I'll cut that out. But for the first few episodes, I'm probably not going to, just because we've just started the game, and I just uh, I want to see what it's all. Like. Oh, what is that? Batatui! All right, best enemy in the best enemy in the game so far. By a landslide, Batatui, love it, love it so much. Ooh, and he did five. That's uh, pretty nasty. And he's fast. And he's dead. Level three already? Damn, son. I'm not gonna complain though. I do need the stats. I'm guessing this is just going to take us back up to where Buddy was. Okay. Ah, they don't notice me. Jolly good. I th think I'm going to heal on the next turn, though. Yeah, how many of those herbs have we got? we got three left. Yeah, I wonder if Mage is going to learn any, like, healing spells early on, or... If he's going to be much of a magic user at all. I have no idea. Uh, There's going to be a chest over here somewhere, isn't there? Oh my god! Feral balls! There's quite a diverse range of enemies in this first area. Oh, thankfully, they do nothing. Oh, they're kind of cute, though. They are kind of cute. Oh, that crit. 26 damage. Stick that up your pipe and smoke it. I knew there'd be a chest over here. My, my Dragon Quest senses were tingling. 20 gold coins. That's actually not too bad. We've got 170 gold already, so it won't be too long before we can afford something better. Since we found the Oaken Club, though, I'm probably going to invest in armor. Okay, yeah, I think we did. We took a massive shortcut going the way that we did. That's really cool. Um, but since this is the first episode, I don't want to make it too long of a video. So I'm probably going to call it the. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this game. Uh, this playthrough. I, I'm i confident I will. I don't think there's going to be a Dragon Quest game that I won't enjoy. Whether or not I'll like it as much as some of the other ones remains to be seen. But I cannot wait to experience this for the first time. And uh, I hope you're looking forward to going along on the journey with me. So next time, we'll continue our way down to Haggleton and sell the things that we need to sell, get the crown, and yeah, look forward to that. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.